What's up, YouTube? Daniel Rodriguez here. It's time to review Supernatural Season 11, Episode 6, titled Our Little World. Spoiler review. Make sure you have seen the episode. It's been since, like, November 2015 or May 2016. I'm late. My fault. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I've seen up to Episode 8. I've seen... I haven't seen Episode 9. I have a lot of the episodes recorded on my DVR. It's just some episodes I didn't record, and I have to go to the laptop and see it, and... I sit down and I mean I'm I'm 15 episodes behind on Empire and I saw the spoiler for the recent episode. You know how that feels? That doesn't feel good. <laughs> it's sad. I need to catch up on that Empire though. I remember when that used to own Wednesday nights. Now it doesn't. But either way, back to Supernatural. Hi. What's going on? Let's get to it. First off, Amara takes Goldie's soul. And uh, in jail, Lynn is dead. And like I said last, and for episode five, Lynn was an awesome character. And next episode, you know, I'm watching episode six. All right, good episode. Then Lizzie, Lynn died. What? Like, you know what? Thanks, CW, for doing that. You know. Uh, anyway, they capture a demon. I don't know who captured it because it's been a month since I seen the episode. But just follow me on this. Anyway, uh, Meta oh, is that Meta Metatron? Metatron? Oh, uh, oh, Metatron is uh, filming a fight. I believe that's his name. Metatron. He's Booger from uh, Revenge of the Nerds, you know. He talks like this. And he basically, he's fighting a film and everything. And he there's this guy dying, and Castiel ends up confronting Metatron. And Crowley wants Amara to slow down with killing people. So, uh, Dean kills the demon, Castiel beats up Metatron, and Dean and Sam are in this asylum. Now, Crowley, well, Crowley has his lair in this abandoned asylum. <sighs> and here I thought Crowley was in hell and everything, having, you know, oh, come here, I need a Mara. Bring a Mara over here. And it's in, <laughs> it's in an asylum. I thought it was, like, in hell and all that. Okay. I'm the king of hell, Crowley. And, you know, Castiel's doing his own stuff. They find Amara, and they can't move. You know, they're, they're paralyzed and all that good stuff. Amara hits Crowley, basically bitch-slapping him. And uh, the darkness is God's sister. <laughs> when I heard about that, I was like, all right, all right, you know, that's, that's something interesting, all right. Darkness is God's sister. That works. I mean, it, it is interesting to see. It adds a little flavor to the story. Uh, just waiting for God to show up, basically. Okay. Crowley will leave Amara alone, and the darkness loves Dean. She does. Sam sees the cage and a vision, and Amara is on the streets at the end of the episode. What I think about this overall, guys, well, first off, Metatron. It's great to see Metatron every now and then, honestly. Uh, he brings funniness to it. I love that actor. I mean, he's not like... Oh my god, that guy, he should win an Emmy or something. No, but he's fun to see because he pops up every now and then. Uh, I, and he did King of the Nerds, dude. It's such a good show. So I used to review it, and then they canceled the show. Thanks, TBS, for canceling that. And Men at Work, you ruined my life. You ruined my young youth. Either way, Metatron was awesome to see, guys. Cassie Yao and them and their chemistry there. And, you know, just shut up and hitting him and all that. Like, oh, you're hurting me now. I wasn't going to take his wallet. I was just going to look at the ID, you know, just make sure. All that stuff. So it's really cool. The action, of course. There's a lot of cool action scenes in here every now and then. Of course, them fighting uh, to get into the asylum. I believe there was a fight scene going on there. Uh, Amara to Dean. You know, uh, Dean has a little love interest going on. But, you know, Dean's like, is it where? No, Amara's still young. And she's like, hey, Dean. Blah, 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 blah. And Dean's like, um. Yeah, let me go. All that, all that stuff. So I, it, was a little awkward. it was awkward, but you know, Amara. Technically, she's the darkness, and I don't think the darkness. Is, I think the darkness is like a thousand years old or something. So I mean, she's just in a young girl's body, but she's growing up constantly. So whatever, man. Uh, the opening, of course, with Amara taking Goldie's soul, and I believe Goldie was it. Gold was this the episode where she's now like she's in the street and everything, and she's like, "Who are you?" And she just basically takes a soul. I believe that was the opening there. Dean was awesome. Crowley was awesome. You know, the, every character has their own little moments every now and then. How they act. How their attitude is. God's sister. That whole storyline going on. Very interesting. Very cool too. And the visions. We seen the visions were also something interesting as well. Uh, because we see the cage. Lucifer's cage. Where is it going? How is it happening? 
I don't know. Anyway, the only cons I really didn't enjoy about this episode were all was like, uh, first off, it's in an asylum. That's just a little nitpicking. I'm not taking big points off. Oh my god. But it's in an asylum. I was like bummed. I was like, oh, it's in a, really? It's in an asylum. Oh. That's where your lair is, Crowley. You could have, you're like the king of hell. Go, you know, I thought you, I don't know. Okay. Uh, they kill Lynn, of course. I wasn't a big fan of that. I knew it wasn't going to be in the whole season, but I was like, Lynn could show up like in a season or something or so, but nope, nope, he did. Uh, and the ending of the episode of Mara on the streets, I was like, that's not a big deal because she was roaming already, so she's on the streets. Okay. I just didn't like the ending shot. I was like, all right, she's on the streets. You know? All right, cool. Uh, I'm being serious. I was just like, all right, it's okay. She's on the streets, whatever. Either way, I'm going to have to give this episode, Man of Supernatural, an A-. I thought it was a great episode. Definitely not an amazing or awesome episode, but it was a great episode. It's entertaining. The action fights, having Metatron in there and with Castiel and then Crowley to Dean and, you know, Amara hitting Crowley and basically saying that she is God's sister. So comment down below to me what you guys thought about the episode. Make sure to like, comment, and share the video. And hit that subscribe button for more Supernatural reviews and all the other reviews and all that good stuff. CW, Fox, all, uh, you know, Azrael, amazing cool things going on. Thanks. Love you all. Bye-bye.